सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल स्टडीज टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास फोर इन टाइटल्ड लुकिंग अराउंड दिस इज द चैप्टर थ्री अ डे विद नंदू फ्रॉम पेज ट्वेंटी वन टू पेज थर्टी पेज ट्वेंटी वन नंदू वेक्स अप नंदू वोक अप एंड ओपन हिज आईज For a few seconds, he was not sure where he was. It seemed to him that he was surrounded by a forest of big grey tree trunks. He blinked his eyes and looked around. Oh, there was Amma, the grey forest that he had imagined he was in. was actually the legs and trunks of his family members the sun was overhead and it was getting hot nani ma trumpeted made a loud sound nani ma is the oldest in this herd of elephants she started moving towards the jungle The other female elephants saw her and started to follow her. Nandu also went with them. We have a picture of an elephant on this page. For the teacher, mother's mother is called Nani Ma. Ask children what they call their mother's mother. Page twenty-two. When they reached the jungle the members of the herd started spreading out each member went to eat her favorite leaves and twigs after they had eaten the herd moved towards the river the baby elephants enjoyed playing in the water the mothers lay down in the water and mud on the river bank below this we have a picture of some elephants enjoying and playing in the water below the picture we have this text do you know that an adult elephant can eat more than 100 kg of leaves and twigs in one day elephants do not rest very much they sleep for only 2 to 4 hours in a day elephants love to play with mud and water the mud keeps their skin cool their big ears also work like fans the elephants flap these to keep themselves cool find out question nandu is only 3 months old but he weighs 200 kg what is your weight write your answer in the blank space question the weight of how many children like you will add up to nandu's weight write your answer in the blank space provided page 23 on this page we have a picture of some elephants playing in the water below the picture is the text fun and games nandu saw his brothers and sisters pulling each other's tails he thought i better not go near them what if they fall on me i am still small he quietly went and stood near his mother amma gently pushed nandu towards the water as if she was telling him to go and play nandu loved to play in the water his cousins were already there just as he reached near a strong fountain of water fell on his head he got wet oh this was the work of his naughty cousins nandu joined them in the game page 24 Before sunset the herd started back towards the jungle by then nandu was very tired he settled himself between his mother's front legs and fell asleep as he drank her milk there is a yellow box 
below this text in which we have this text. You have read about Nandu and the elephant herd. An elephant herd has mainly females and baby elephants. The oldest female is the leader of the herd. A herd may have 10 to 12 female elephants and young ones. Male elephants live in the herd till they are 14 to 15 years old. Then they leave their herd and move around alone. Nandu will also leave his herd when he is that old. Like elephants, some other animals also live together in groups. These animal groups are called herds. Animals in herds usually move around together, searching for food. Question. If you were Nandu and you lived in a herd, what kind of things would you do? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. In the elephant herd, the oldest female elephant decides everything. Who takes decisions in your family? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Make a collage of a herd of elephants in your notebook. For this, collect as many pictures of elephants that you can. Cut out the elephants and stick them in the notebook. Page 25 Question Nandu did things that he liked to do. If you could spend a whole day with your friends, what all would you do? List your answers in the blank space provided. Question Find out and write which other animals live in herds. Give your answer in the blank space given. Question. Do you also live in a group? Do you like to live together like that? Why would you like or not like to live in a group? Why I would like? Blank space for your answer. Why I would not like? Blank space for your answer. Question. How do elephants feel when they are kept in chains? Discuss and share your feelings. Write your answer in the blank space provided. Page 26. Question. Have you ever taken a ride on an elephant? How did it feel? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. Which animals have you sat on? Write their names. Blank space is provided for your answers. Question. You must have seen many animals around you. In books, in movies. Some may be alone, some in groups. Find out more about any one of these animals and write about it. There is some blank space provided for your answer. Below this on the page we have a picture of some elephants and a baby elephant. The two adult elephants have people riding on them. Page 27 Think and write There is a small picture of an egret sitting on a buffalo. Next to the picture we have the text. Why do you think the egret is sitting on the buffalo? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Have you seen any animal riding on another animal? Write its name. The animal which is riding. Blank space. The animal which gives the right. Blank space. Question. Which animals do we use for riding? Blank space for your answer. Question. Which animals do we use for carrying loads? Write your answer in the blank space given. Make your own elephant. Copy the drawing of the elephant given on the next page in a bigger size on a thick sheet of paper. Make small cuts where it says cut in the picture. Be careful not to cut off the part. 
fold along the dotted lines. Fold the part with slash pattern and push them underneath. Cut out the tail and stick it on. Page 28 Your elephant is ready. Color and decorate it. Put up an exhibition in class of all the paper elephants that you have made. Below this we have a diagram with description on how to make the paper elephant. The picture has clearly marked places to make cuts, dotted lines to fold along and slash patterns to fold the parts and push them underneath. The tail is also given separately to be cut and stuck. Page 29 What do they say? Look at these pictures and read what these animals are sharing with their friends. Discuss these narratives sensitively in the class. In a big green box on this page under this text, we have the pictures of various animals and what they are saying written as their narratives. Let's read and find out. Snake The basket is the only home I have. I have forgotten what it is like in the open jungle and fresh air. For me it is only the basket and the snake charmer. Bear You see me in circus dancing and jumping through rings of fire. You clap and enjoy. Do you think that I also enjoy all this? If I do not do this, I will get no food, only get a beating. Horse, you have only seen how fast I run. Have you seen my shoes? Do you know how much pain I get when they fix the horseshoes to my hooves? Monkeys, they make us dance and dance and dance, even if we don't want to, or we are in pain, that too with an empty stomach. Cat, meow, meow, meow. I can just roam around everywhere. Children love me a lot. They pat me and also give me milk. Pigeon Gutter goo, gutter goo. Do you know people specially call out to me to feed me with grain? Page 30 Discuss You have read what these animals say. Why do you think that some of them are sad? Question how do you think they are different? The monkeys that dance to entertain people and the monkeys that are free. How many legs does this elephant have? There is a picture of an elephant below this. Do you know? Elephants help each other when in trouble. They join together to care for and rescue their young ones. The chapter 3 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India